But sometimes you got to remain and have that old standard stuff. Some of that stuff that you, that's rooted and grounded. And if you listen to that CD, I'm telling you, it will usher you right into the presence of God. Amen. And he has CDs available tonight. It's an instrumental CD. I'm telling you, why you right. Amen. Gleaning. Amen. You need to rock with it and roll with it because he got an awesome CD. Pastor George and Margaret Thomas, can you please stand? It's Michael Swanigan, because this is all right, I know it's about, amen. Michael Swanigan, can you stand? He has been such another covenant friend, amen. Now many of you guys, guys know Michael Swanigan. He's been such an awesome, anointed, menstrual, soul strength himself in his own right. He's been such a blessing, and we thank God for him. Michael, I love you. You've always been a blessing. And he, yeah, he got names for folks, so he calls me. When he first said it, I was ready to knock him out and say, what? He called me the dark and lovely diva. We were shopping somewhere out in, in Chicago, and I was looking on some shoes, and he's, I said, what is this nice? He always said, oh, dark and lovely diva. And some of them said, what? I said, Michael. But he's been such a covenant friend. I thank God for him. Sister Lorraine, amen. She's such a sweetheart. Isn't this everybody just sweet? Sister Lorraine, thank you tonight for ministering in music. Come on, stand up. You don't want to stand up, but stand on that. Sister Leslie had to go, didn't she? How many of you were blessed by her? Yeah. If you need a call, God has set up for kiss. I mean, she played with Stevie Wonder a couple of months ago, and they, they, they pretty much uh, uh, had her do a song, and she just took the house up. She's an anointed, amen, woman of God in her own right. Amen. She's such a blessing. I thank God for all of the ministry gifts. Maurice, amen. Praise God. Washington, he sings a song called um, uh, that uh, Marvin Sapp does about Won't You Lay Your Hands on Me. He's an anointed. Thank you for tonight. Amen. Pastor John and June Earl. Now I'm going to say this, John. <laughs> Back in the day. <laughs> Don't even know what I'm getting ready to say. John was the choice of the year. Sisters was more brother man. I mean, he, but he had such a sweet spirit about him. I said, no, she didn't go there. He's been such a blessing, though. He has an awesome spirit. Tell the truth, Beverly. Wasn't he like, ooh, Jesus? What is that? Hallelujah. In the house. But he's been such a blessing, amen. Anytime I needed, when I was working with the youth ministry, amen, and his wife, because I say they win, okay? Hold up. Amen. And, and so anytime I need to do, he connects with me. Anytime I need anything for the youth ministry, he said, Judy, I said, I got to go on stage. He said, you know, I'm not charging you nothing. If it's for ministry, you get to get the man's freedom. When you ain't got no man's and work in youth ministry, he has been such a blessing to me. I thank God for you. Amen. Let's praise God for him. <laughs> Sister Pat Woods. mother to me. She is such a, come on stand up Pat. A mother she was, how old is your mom now? 96. 96. She just got, stopped driving last year. Mom stand up, come on. And sister, amen. She got Rosalind, uh, amen. They have been such a blessing. Mother made me a beautiful quilt class uh, two weeks ago and presented to me. I knew it was such a blessing. I thank God for all of you. I'm just, if I love somebody, I'll charge it to my head and not my heart. Amen. And the pastors of this church, I'm sure they're already gone. But I thank God. And Yancey, oh my God. April the 18th at the Performing Arts Center. He's going to be in concert. Y'all better get y'all ticket. He is awesome. Amen. We thank God for him. And he's available as well. He knows my father real well. And it's dear to my heart because my father played the tenor and alto sex and sax as well, and I just praise God for him, but I just want to thank, amen, Pastor Sweeney. Yes. Can you stand? And Teresa Sweeney. If it wasn't for these two, if it wasn't for Pastor Sweeney, I wouldn't even have this celebration tonight. God put it on his heart, and I thank you so much. Amen. You have always been such a blessing. The thing I like about Pastor Sweeney is Pastor Sweeney don't tell it like it is. You can't put him in a box, amen. Hallelujah. He's going to tell you like it is. And if you need some leadership training, 
He's one of the men that is awesome as well in leadership training. Thank